guys, Tyler Hooks here with Jake Concepts, and we're here with Joe Pillars from One Up Racing, a uh, new sponsor for our series. And uh, obviously, you guys have, as well as your products and accessories and everything, you have a whole satellite team now as well. Um, what's it been like, kind of transitioning just from you know making products to actually having a team and then sponsoring you know those drivers with other brands and things? Yeah, it's been great. Um, we kind of started out. Um, I've been at One Up for three years now and we kind of started out making the products for the cars. And then just last year, we actually went on to uh, kind of, like you said, do like a, like a satellite team, um, kind of like in Supercross, we always like to kind of like judge things off of that, where it's like you have like the, the Pro Circuit Kawasaki team. So we're kind of like a smaller team, but still running what we feel is the best cars with a team associated. So it's been, it's been great. We had, um, Matt Gonzalez had a great, year last year, um, won two Roar National Championships, a lot of stock races as well, so we're kind of building on top of that. Um, he's moved into Modified this year, so it's gonna be a pretty big learning curve, but I mean, he's already shown great speed, and uh, you know, I'm kind of the mentor side as far as like the team manager role, so, and now I get to uh, do the 40 plus class, so it's kind of, it's kind of like full circle, so. Yeah, that's gonna be kind of exciting in your first, you know, year having this team, having Maddie go out and get two championships, um, you know, running all the products and the big logo on the side. That had to be kind of cool for you guys, right? Yeah. No, it couldn't have really went any better. I mean, obviously, you want to try to get like a top modified driver, but to have a top stock guy and kind of, it's so funny because last year, normally I'm always watching the modified races just from the history of managing teams. And now, like last year, I found myself, you know, I was watching more of the stock races. So it's like, you know, kind of transitioned a little bit. But it's been great. So now Matt's, you know, he's gonna run with the big boys this year. So see what he can do. Yeah, and that's an interesting thing too. Like you have guys, like even like myself, where we get a stock title, and then you know, unfortunately, like it never really transitions into the modified side. It looks like with Maddie, you guys have one of those drivers that really truly has the potential to go from that elite stock level speed to elite mod speed. How is it trying to get him to change, you know, his driving style from stock to mod, or is it even that really big of a deal? I mean, I think it's been really easy for him, to be honest. I mean, last year, just like when you were running stock a lot, it's like the lap times are pretty similar to modified. They're just missing a few tenths here or there based on power. But now, I mean, like, like for example, when we went to carpet races, I was running two-wheel mod, and I run carpet quite a bit, so I have decent pace. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he was running the same speed with a stock motor than I was doing with mod. So it's like, you see right there, it's like the driving is is really good from that. So um, yeah, I don't think it's gonna take much. I know um, that Top Gun race just a few months ago, he was very fast, kind of running up, you know, top three with the guys. So I expect probably more of that this weekend, hopefully. And it's always hard. It's like the home track advantage. You know, there's some of that, but there's always extra pressure knowing that you know, you're at your home track, you're expected to do good, so we'll see how we can do. I think I think he's he's in a good good mindset and he's already going really fast in practice. So, so uh, I guess the last question would be, you know, back to the product side, what are some of the releases that you guys have been most excited about or do you have anything new that's coming that's kind of interesting and fun? Yeah, so the tie rods have been the biggest project lately that we came out with. Um, just in uh, the like the 3.5 millimeter uh, design has been really good. It's been really strong. Um, we haven't actually even seen one bent or break yet, so there's a lot of them out there at the moment. Um, we have uh, bearing kits coming out for the cars really soon, and uh, titanium screw kits as well. So we're kind of just going right down the line. Yeah. So basically, being that type of accessory company, just kind of try to cover all the bases and everything. And I have been, you know, impressed myself, like looking at your, you know, you have your new diff like basically what would be a clear grease, but you know, right. it's pink. Yeah. Um, but it's something that's different. It's not just clear grease, you know, it's, right. it's kind of a heavier duty option, yeah. um, which it's probably not utilized much for that, but it's probably something that's really good for oval guys with a lot of load on I'm sure, you know, ball yeah. diffs and stuff like that. So, so yeah, huge thank you to, to you guys for coming out, obviously to the events themselves, but also for sponsoring uh, the, the whole series. Um, yeah, we look forward to seeing you guys do well at the races and seeing you in the future. Thank you. Cool. Yep. No problem. Thanks. Thank you.